everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw feedback from Ben 10. I'm gonna get started at the top of my page with the eye. So feedback has one single eye in the middle. So we start on the left side, draw a curve going up and then down on the right side. Now I'm gonna take these two points and connect it with the bottom of the eye. So we're gonna curve down and then back up. Just underneath the eye, we're gonna locate the mouth. So he's got a really big mouth. So we're gonna start on the left side, curve down in the center, back up on the right side. From these two points, we just want to angle down and in. Now let's connect those two points with another curve. Inside the mouth, we're going to locate the teeth. So we're going to draw a curve in the middle, but along the way, we're going to draw two little fangs. We're going to curve in, we'll draw a little upside down V. We'll continue that curve over towards the right another upside down V and then go all the way out towards the edge of the mouth. Now from here we're going to move to the outside and draw the side of the head. So in line with the top of the eye we're going to move over, just curving around the edge of the mouth and coming down towards the jaw. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's connect those two points with the curve for the lower part of the jaw. At the top of the head we're going to leave a little gap up here. We draw a little curve from the top of the head. Starting on the left, we'll go up and then down on the right. And then from here, we're just going to locate the little cables that come out from the head. So from this point at the bottom, we're going to curve over towards the left. On the top, we're going to step in to lift, create a little overlap and then we'll curve it up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now before I finish off these cables, I want to draw on the body so we can wrap the cables around the arms. So let's start about halfway down the head, we're going to draw on the tops of the shoulder. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and over towards the left. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to overlap the shoulders going in behind this area here. So stepping over, go up and out, do the same thing on the right side. From these two points, we're going to curve around the side of the shoulder, doing a hard turn, coming down and in. Let's go back to the center of the body and draw in the logo. So we're going to start with a hexagon. So in the middle of the head, we'll draw a little point. From here, it's going to angle out towards the left and the right. From these two points, we'll come straight down. And we're going to take these two points and come down towards the middle. Now on these two points here, we're just going to come in towards the middle with two angled lines. We'll do the same thing on the right, leaving a gap in the center. And then we're going to color those two triangles in black. Now let's create a little trim around this hexagon. So we're going to step up and just draw an even space trim all the way around. From the sides, we're going to draw the side of the chest. So right in line with this shoulder area here, we're going to draw two curves coming down just below that point here. So on the left side, we'll curve down. On the right side, we're going to line up the top and we're going to curve down. We're going to connect those two points with the curve for the lower part of the chest, just below the logo. Let's continue down with the lower part of the body. So from these corners of the chest, I just want to draw a short curve coming in. From here, we're going to scoop inwards down towards the hips, so coming in and then down to right about there. Now in the middle of the body, just down here, we're going to draw a straight line for the lower torso. Now we're going to start working in the legs. So from the inside, from this point, we're going to draw a straight angle line going down towards the inside of the knees on both sides. Now we're going to draw the calves, so we're going to curve in and down. Now we're going to curve and round up all the way down towards the heel. Starting on the left side, we'll go in and then back down. Now from the heels, we're going to work our way towards the toes. So from this point, we're going to curve down and over towards the left. I'm going to hook over the first toe going across. Now from that point in the toe, we're going to step up and draw another curve going out for the second toe. From this point, I just want to curve back now from here, I just want to curve the top of the foot in towards the ankle. So going in to right about there. 
Let's do the same thing on the right side. From the heel, we're gonna curve down and out towards the first toe. We'll curve up and in. From the tip, we're gonna step up, curve out to the second toe. Feel that first curve. Now we're gonna do the same thing I was doing, did on the left. We're gonna curve down and then in towards the ankle, making sure we have the same amount of gap on the inside. Now from here, we're gonna draw in the shin. So we wanna line up with the inside of the knee, curving up and then out. The same thing on the right, curving up and then out. And we're just gonna connect the hips to the knee with a slight curve. Let's go ahead and add in that little body trim. So on the side of the head, right here, we're gonna curve around the jaw and then in behind the logo. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Then from here, we're gonna move out and draw a curve coming down towards the bottom of the chest. So just on the outside of that point, curve down. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. And then from here, we're gonna step in and curve down towards the points of the lower torso. So on the left, we'll step in, curving inwards, and then down. Now let's go back to the outside and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start with the left side first. So from this point, I wanna step up, and just curve the outer part of the bicep, and then down towards the elbow. From the armpit area here, we're gonna step down and curve in the opposite direction, curving in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Stepping up, we'll curve out, down and then from the armpit we'll step down curve in towards the elbow let's go back to the left side and draw on the forearm from this point I'm gonna step up and curve down now we do a little wave coming in towards the wrist now I'm gonna locate the wrist right about here so we'll curve it in and then come straight down towards the wrist on the outside we're gonna step up we'll curve it out now I'm gonna do a hard turn coming in towards the wrist, leaving a little gap. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna start up here, curving in. I'm gonna draw a little wave coming down towards the wrist, right here. Curve in, and then straight down towards the wrist. On the outside, we're gonna step up, curving out, and we'll curve in towards the wrist. Again, leaving a little bit of space for the wrist. Now before I finish off the hand, I want to go back to the top and draw on the cables. So we're going to start on the bottom. From this point, we're going to curve around outside of the shoulder line. From here, we're going to do a hard turn coming down. Just curving it down. We go back to the top and just taper this. So we're going to get a little bit narrower as we come down towards the bottom. Starting from the top, just going to follow that same curve. Now we'll come down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting up here, curving out. And then down, just around the shoulder. And we're gonna curve this down. Let's go back to the top and draw that same curve. Now we're gonna taper this. Right there. And then we'll come down. Let's add the little plugs on the end. So on the left side, I just wanna overlap those two points with the curve going up and then down. From the ends, I'm gonna come down with an angled line. So it gets a little bit wider at the base. We'll connect those two points with the curve. And then on the inside, I'm just gonna draw two short lines going across. Let's draw the little plug at the end here. So on the inside, we're gonna draw two lines coming down. We'll square off the bottom with two short lines. Now from the inside, we're gonna go up, and then we'll close it off on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Overlapping those two points with a curve. Coming down with an angled line on both sides. And then we'll close off the bottom. Go inside and draw two straight lines going across. Now we're gonna add that same plug on the bottom here. Have two lines coming down, close off the bottom, going up on the sides, and then closing off the inside. Let's go back down to the hands. Now the fingertips have these little plugs on the ends. So we're still on the left side here. I'm gonna curve over towards the thumb and then curve it down. Let's add the first plug on this side. So we're gonna draw a curve going across. And then again, coming down on either side so it gets a little bit wider at the base. We'll close off the bottom with a curve. And then in here, we're gonna draw two lines. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curving over towards the thumb, and then we'll curve down. Go across, curve. 
quarter. I come down at an angle and we'll close off the bottom. Let's go ahead and add those two lines on the inside. Now from here, I'm gonna work my way to the outside of the finger. So let's start on the left side here. So from this corner, I'm gonna step in, we'll curve up and then down towards the first finger. We're gonna add that same plug on the end here. We'll draw that curve first, two angled lines, then we'll close off the bottom. Let's add the two lines on the inside. Now I'm just gonna repeat this plug three times across the hand. I'm gonna cross, go down at an angle, curve in towards that bottom corner, and then again adding two short lines, and then one more. From this point, we're going to curve across, come down at an angle, and then curve in. We're just going to close off with two lines there. Now from the halfway point of this curve, I'm just going to curve up towards the wrist. In between these two plugs, I'm just going to curve up, and then between these two plugs, I'm just going to curve up to separate the fingers. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So right up here, we're gonna curve up and then down. We'll add that first plug, the curve. Add two lines on the inside. Then again, repeating these plugs across here. So starting at the top corner. And then one more. And then from the wrist, I'm just going to curve down about halfway along that plug. And then in between each plug, we're just going to curve and just separate the fingers. The final thing I'm going to add is the tail whipping in behind the body. So from this corner of the lower torso, I'm just going to curve down and then in behind this leg. We'll continue this curve, cross in behind the arm, and I'm just going to pull this around the hand and then down. I'm going to do the same thing on the outside, but we're going to go a little bit thicker as we come up towards the waist. I'm going to aim for that hip. Starting down here, I'm going to curve in behind the arm, and then again, I'm going to curve up and then aim for that hip. We'll add one little plug at the end here, curving the top, coming down on the sides, rounding out the bottom, then adding the two lines. We're going to add that same little plug at the end here. bottom there and that's pretty much it there we have it there's feedback from ben 10 i hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching we'll see you again soon